professional wrestling. A form of entertainment that often leads to more questions than answers. Such as, what is the sport about? Is this real or fake? Or how does one even become a wrestler? This is where we come in. This documentary takes an insider look at the world of professional wrestling. As told by the people involved with the Melbourne-based promotion, Professional Championship Wrestling, also known as PCW. It was here that we were granted behind-the-scenes access at their training and shows, along with the chance to meet some of the company's top performers, including the royalty, the duo that found themselves growing closer during their time both in and out the ring. Wake, the hardcore madman, whose appearance clearly reflects his well-known fearlessness. And Tricky, the 15-year veteran of the ring who is helping shape a whole generation of PCW wrestlers to come. We sat down with these real-life heroes and villains to try and find out some of the answers to the many questions this popular form of entertainment creates. This is Outside the Ring. A wrestler is Tricky, that's uh, my, where I'm currently at. I'm, my name is Tricky and that's what I wrestle, T-R-I-K-K-I. -I. I've been around the company since 2002. Uh, obviously it's 2017 now. Uh, I actually got a little bit more involved hands-on around 2010. I was appointed the head coach of the PCW Academy and that's where we produce all the talent you see on our PCW shows. What's involved with your training here at PCW? The beginners, like, like if I've never stepped foot in a professional wrestling ring before and I'm rocking up to wrestling for the first time, like, all right, I want to be a wrestler. You're going to learn the very basic foundations of wrestling, the rolling and the break falling and how to run the ropes because that's where it all starts. You've got to learn to fall, you've got to learn to roll and then the rest will come. For, for the next stage up, we'll then teach you the basic moves how to do a tie-up, how to do a hip toss, how to do an arm drag, you know, the very basic fundamentals. I guess the next stage would then be putting it all together. You know, you've got a handful of moves, but now it's, it's how do you apply these things? How do you make them work? The one thing I love about professional wrestling, and I absolutely love this, uh, there's no off season. We are weekly. You know, last year we, we had a one weekend off and that killed us, that killed us to the point where the next week we did a show Friday, Saturday just to make up for that one day we missed. I'm not just a trainer though. Uh, as of 2015, 14, 15, I believe, got years of flying. <laughs> but um, I actually took on a director role. So now I'm an official operations manager uh, and I'm, I deal with all the training department. So anything with regards to the training, uh, inquiries, finding new students, training new students, getting guys ready for shows, that's pretty much all my department. However, it's a lot more involved with that because come show day, we've also got a wrestler as well. I've got a full-time job outside of this, but this is kind of like another full-time job. So, I sleep very little. <laughs>
How did you end up meeting and start wrestling together? Basically, I was um, about three, maybe four weeks training in, and it was my first time in the ring with the uh, beautiful Natalie. <laughs> and um, we were going through like shoulder tackles, just basics, clotheslines. Um, she decided to give me a shoulder tackle, quite stiff. Yep. And it hurt. Yes. Because she has bony shoulders. He hated me at first. Mm -hmm. He was just like, she doesn't know how to wrestle, she can't do anything right. And then I messaged him saying, I'm sorry, I nearly killed you. And apparently he was like, oh, she's really cute. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what he told me. <laughs> Do you ever worry that people are judging you based on the characters you are in the ring? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't worry about it because I'm pretty happy with who I am. Um, but I do know that people, because I'm a, I'm a bad person, people do see that before they see me. So they do definitely judge. I do believe that. Uh, worry, I, I guess worry in the sense of I don't want anyone to think I'm a jerk. Um, but at the same time, if they do, that's that's why I'm here. That's what I do. After a match where you've lost or won, is there any animosity between wrestlers? Not so far. I haven't had a problem with anyone, and I don't. I don't think. I don't think you should. I mean, unless they they purposely gone out there to hurt you, or purposely gone out there to do something that you you don't want them to do, then I can understand the frustration. But um, I I seriously go along with everyone I've, I've been in a match with and I've enjoyed it week in and week out. Do you think wrestling together has made you a stronger couple? Well, if it wasn't for wrestling, we wouldn't be a couple. So I think... Um, I think it's, um, it's made us realise um, to grow together, to work together. Like he, he's got a lot of confidence anyway, but he just brings a lot out of me. So we work off each other. Um, that's why our chemistry is so good on, on and off screen. Um, but we try to keep our personal lives a little bit separate from Sammy and Bianca. So it's not always about wrestling. Um, we do take time. We try to take at least a weekend or like have a day together so that we can be just us and not wrestling. All right, nice. That's it. Yay. Thank you. What about me? You're right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
but yeah. How do you prepare for a match? Like, do you have any rituals or? Yeah, I put my paint on. Are you blinded right now? Yeah. I can't say this is Oh, no. You do a lot of crazy stunts. Have you ever had second thoughts about one or been seriously injured from one? I've never been hurt, so... Um... I don't know, just do that you should have an idea of wrestling from the people inside the squared circle, hear what others like you have to say about it in what we like to call the fans corner. My name's Carl Hughes. My name's Erin. My name's Matthew. And my name is Megan. I've been a fan of wrestling from age of eight, nine, if not before that. I've been a fan of wrestling ever since I can remember, so 23 years of wrestling. A fan since I was six years old, I've always been watching wrestling. I have loved wrestling ever since I was a little kid. I used to watch it with my dad every Thursday night. So yeah, it's been a life, lifetime fit. You know, what the guys do really, you know, it's quite physical, um, but it's very entertaining and I've always found it that way. Sort of the drama behind it all. I've always been a sucker for storylines, so a good storyline always gets me. But it's acting and sports mixed together. Sports entertainment. I really like Adam Cole. Adam Cole is probably my favourite out of everyone. Shawn Michaels, hands down, has always been my favourite ever since I was little. I would say Soxy. Very entertaining, very real. Um, just gives his heart and soul. Can't go past him. tough time for me at primary school myself and I felt that no matter how sh things were going there I'd turn on TV and there was Sean and he was just my everything, my inspiration, my role. Well my kids enjoy wrestling, um, I love it you know, um, as you know Blake started wrestling and it's a proud daddy moment so you know I wish I could be doing it and said I'm living the dream for my kids instead. So. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> petrified. I get petrified watching him. I just like knowing that he's okay. Um, but the training is ridiculously safe. The guys are really um, very family orientated, so they look after each other. So I know that he's always going to be safe. What's your take on wrestling being called fake? I don't see it as fake. I don't think it is fake. Because if anyone was to take, take a bump on that mat, I feel like they would realise that it's not fake. Everything in this world that's entertainment is fake. You go and see a movie, it's not real, even if it's based on a true story. So it doesn't really bother me, and that sort of Wait, upset me when people sort of half on it. We all know what wrestling is. Um, I don't call it fake. There's injuries. Many, many wrestlers get injured. Uh, they train very hard to do what they do, so fake. No, no, it's not fake, no. 
I don't call it fake. If that's what stopped you from giving it a shot and watching it, go last, you can miss out. The difference between something like professional wrestling and the UFC is that in the UFC, when two guys enter the octagon, they are going to fight to the death. That's the idea. You know, with professional wrestling, we're going in there to put on a show. If you stand there and let me approach you with a steel chair <laughs> and somehow I hit you with it and you make it fake, that's great, you can make it fake. But I guarantee you, you won't know how to make it fake. You won't know how to make it look fake. You know, one thing's certain, you can't fake gravity. This is not a trampoline. This is enough to stop you from killing yourself. And as you can see right here, hardboard floor. So if you're an outsider and you step in, you try and land on this, that's, you're getting hurt, 100%. But why would they cheer if they know it's all fake? Like, tell me for a second, like, if you see something fake and you're like, well, that's clearly fake, you're not gonna cheer for that. You know, that's garbage, that's, that's stupid, I don't wanna see that. No, it's the elements of real. That's what it is. Because a lot of things, a lot of guys get really, they, they really do get hit. They really do get hurt, you know? It's the elements of real. That's why people come. It's good that you brought up chairs because there was an incident between you and Wake that involved a chair. Would you like to detail that for us? Um, I would like to detail it, but then there, after about four chair shots out of the 15, I couldn't remember much. They want to see a car, a car crash. They want to hear the screeching tires. They want to hear the hit and then they want to see the aftermath. And then they want to see what happens the next week. God, the birds are a bit noisy, aren't they? You are a You are a Are you talking about to me? No, no, me. No, <laughs> no. I'm not moving. Yeah, see, I was kind of, I was seeing you guys there and I was like, well, I'll just keep going. <laughs>